All right, Mech Commanders, let's build that Tactica checklist for the Hermes. And this is a light mech, Inner Sphere. I like the idea behind it. I kind of like, well, I like the name. A lot of myth behind that name. I like the head, but the mech itself, it, it's kind of in this interesting spot where uh, if we go in one direction, I feel like a spider is a better choice. And if we go in another direction, I kind of feel like a fire starter is a better choice. The, the Hermes is kind of an odd duck, and we're looking at the initial Hermes Succession War, not the two, not the retrofit, which I think solves a lot of these deficiencies, but as a starting point. That said, I have played the mech, I have the mech in my collection, and playing that narrative, look, any mech that you inherit, that's going to be a great starting place, and hopefully over time with glory, you'll, you'll trade up to a medium and a heavy and kind of move through there and, and build up. But we start initially with two medium lasers, and with two medium lasers on a light mech, that's got some punch. So I don't want to kind of push out there and say, you know, the Hermes is just not capable. It's got some bite for that light mech. Having the two medium lasers in that weight class, first off, weight class, regardless of weight class, the medium laser, Inner Sphere is one of the best weapons in the game. It's got the perfect balance of damage, range, and heat management or, or heat buildup. You've got two. You've got redundancy. That's, that's kind of neat in a light mech. You know, what you see in most light mechs is a primary weapon. Uh, let's look at the Locust as an example. Primary weapon is that medium laser. And then there'll be some very light secondary weapons, uh, maybe anti-infantry or just, just something to mash those buttons if you have the chance to take that shot. The Hermes has got two with the medium laser. So that's that's got some bite. I don't want to put it out there that if you're engaging other light mechs, you have a slight advantage on there. And of course, there's specialized machines out there that, like the Panther, that'll mount that PPC you don't want to encounter, but that's a little bit different. But now for that that secondary, those secondary weapons, we have a flamer. And this is where things get interesting. So I feel like uh, the medium lasers, flamer, you got to get real close. You got to get danger close. You got to get right up there. If we're going to be using it against mechs, vehicles, infantry, a non-static target, something that's going to be moving, running, and gunning, I have to get really, really close. That kind of um, begins to play with what keeps a light mech safe. What keeps a light mech safe is not the armor. It's not the armor. It's the ability to be moving constantly and and staying at range, kind of jumping at medium range. So this way, at least there's enough stacks. Your, your opponent's got to hit you on 2d6 on, on the higher end spectrum. Then we go to armor. Armor, like armor's kind of like you made a mistake and hopefully we survive and you just get your arm blown off and then you kind of redeploy or move out there. But to utilize this flamer, I have to get really, really close. And and for what? Now, I love the fire starter. That's a different machine. So I feel like if it didn't have the flamer, then it would kind of be a heavyweight class spider. But in that case, it is still a light mech. Maybe I'm better off taking the spider because spider's got mad speed, mad mobility, mad jump. It's got the two lasers, two mediums. Maybe I jump into the fire starter. If I'm going to go with flamers, then I'm going to go with flamers. But even the fire starter um, has some bite with the medium lasers. On a side note, I have pushed up the fire starter vlog to my Battletech channel. I love the fire starter. We might have to revisit that, especially with the new sit kits coming out. But... I have to say with the fire starter, you got to be careful because it, it, it wants to play as a medium mech. You can fool yourself into playing it as a medium mech. And, and this is coming from a mech commander and mech warrior that regularly plays it. I've engaged Shadowhawks. I've engaged Griffins. And I'm like, wait, wait, what am I doing? This is, this is madness. This is absolutely madness. And it's not even Sparta. Like, we got to get out of here. Got to pull out with that, that type mech. So lights stay with lights. But we have this flamer. Okay, so the Hermes, I see it as, if I'm going to use it, I see it as a generalized mech that wants to operate in the backfield a little bit. And this is a little bit troublesome because it doesn't quite have the speed to do it. Um, I, I want to gang up on support vehicles. I want to bully around light vehicles. I want to hit things with the flamer. Maybe I'll slash and burn some forests. Maybe it'll be some, some cover denial. Um, we see this on some of the classic hex maps where there's pockets of trees. If I can run and gun with my medium lasers, burn some stuff, get out of there, um, possibilities with that. 
If I'm at the point of using that flamer, though, aggressively against, say, a mech, then I might as well be punching on the tonnage because the damage won't be that great. Not that the flamer is that great, but at least then if I'm punching, it's a one in six chance of hitting the head. I'm not going to knock your head off, but maybe I'll force a consciousness check. But that's really close, and that's going against, going against the very tactica of a light mech.